Okay, boys and girls, so I wasn't planning on doing an additional video this week, but this story is just a little bit too important to ignore. So back in September, Pauline Hanson introduced a motion to the Senate to move that the Senate acknowledges the deplorable rise of anti-white racism and attacks on Western civilization and that it's okay to be white. So, surprise, surprise, it got voted down. Now, in the initial vote, it was voted down by the ALP and the Greens. No surprises there. They are far left, so they obviously hate the the white part of Australia and the white part of the world. That's just their MO. But also, Darren Hinch and the Xenophon Party, they voted against it. Now, that wasn't all that surprising. We already knew that the left were racists. Um, what was surprising is the fallout from it, and that's really what I want to talk about today. But before that, I just want to go over a few wonderful tweets from some far-left commies. So here we have Luke Henriquez Gomez, who works for The Guardian, I believe. So, nice to see Australia's party of government vote to give legitimacy to a 4chan meme popular with the former Grand Wizard of the KKK, an American neo-Nazi website, The Daily Stormer. Wow! So, these people who are really bad think that a meme saying it's okay to be white is good, therefore anyone who says it's okay to be white is bad. Doesn't really quite compute there, Will Robinson. I think uh, old Luke Henriquez here is maybe hiding just a little bit of racism. Just a little tad of racism right there, because obviously anyone who says it's okay to be white, according to this guy, is a national socialist and KKK mamba and blah blah blah. He's just an idiot. Anyway, imagine being that scared of Pauline Hanson that you vote for a racist meme days before a by-election in one of the country's most socially progressive electorates. Yeah, it's a racist meme to say it's okay to be white. Think about that for a second. He thinks it's racist to say it's okay to be white, but this is a view shared by most leftists. Then we have this bloke who works for uh, uh, BuzzFeed, otherwise, no otherwise known as Soyfeed. Want to see what happens when the online far right becomes mainstreamed? Well, people vote on things like it's okay to be white. The far right. <laughs> what an idiot. Here we have a Greens Senator, Maureen Faruqi. Here's your Liberal government voting for a white supremacist motion. So it's white supremacist to say it's okay to be white and that there's a rise of anti-white racism. But yeah, totally no rise of anti-white racism there. None at all. I can't see any anti-white racism at all. Can you see it? I can't see it. Where is it? And here is... Richard Dean Natale being quoted by News.com, The reality is, this It's OK To Be White slogan has a long history in the white supremacist movement where both these clowns get most of their material from. <sighs> yeah, a long history in the white supremacist movement of 4chan who thought it would be funny to put up a sign that says It's OK To Be White because it's an innocuous statement that the left will go absolutely mental over. The fact that they would even say it's okay to be white is a white supremacist statement is pretty clear evidence of anti-white racism, if you ask me. But hey, I'm not in the mind of a communist, so I don't know, maybe they justify their own virulent racism somehow. Maybe we should ask him one day, but I don't think he'd be forthcoming there. We should ask him if it's okay to be white, actually. Maybe we should start asking all these politicians that voted against it whether or not it's okay to be white. It might be interesting to see their answers. Anyway, so, as you recall, the, the motion only narrowly failed, meaning the Liberal Party actually voted for it. However, they must have woken up with a little bit of white guilt because we got this story today. Finance Minister Matthias Cormann has asked the Senate to recommit Pauline Hanson's It's OK To Be White motion, saying the Coalition's earlier position to oppose it should have been maintained. Wait a minute. So, now they want to vote against it being okay to be white. So we've already got two far-left racist parties, and now we've got a left-wing party that really, really desperately wants to show how racist it actually is.
Labor's Senate leader Penny Wong attacked the move as a pathetic attempt at a cleanup. So basically, she's attacking the government who have already cucked out as a cleanup. It's a pathetic, a pathetic attempt at a cleanup because they've woken up with a little bit of white guilt and now all of a sudden they don't want to say that it's okay to be white. This is exactly why you never, ever, ever apologize to the left. The liberals are idiots. Absolute idiots. They should have just stuck with it. And they should have attacked the ALP and the, and the Greens for voting against it. And showing, without a doubt, that there is anti-white racism on the rise in the West. If there wasn't anti-white racism on the rise in the West, they would have all voted for it. Voting against it is evidence of anti-white racism. Duh. Senator Wong said the government was trying to walk away from the appalling motion, not because it was wrong, but because it was trying to save the blue ribbon seat of Wentworth at Saturday's by-election. And Senator Wong isn't voting against the it's okay to be white meme because it's the right thing to do. She's voting against it because she's a virulent racist. Let's not deny it. So of course, Pauline Hanson has something to say about this. It's okay to be white guilt. The Australian government has withdrawn support for Senator Pauline Hanson Oz's call to acknowledge the rise of anti-white racism and that it's okay to be white, claiming it was the regrettable result of an administrative process failure. So we'll talk about this administrative process failure in a minute. Senator Cormann took full responsibility for the blunder that he blamed on an administrative process failure. When the motion was first put forward in September and we considered the motion, we made a decision to oppose that motion and to make a statement in our own words that as a government we deplore racism of any kind, but not to actually support the motion, Senator Cormann said. So you see, they wanted to say that they deplore racism, but they couldn't bring themselves to vote in favour of a motion that says it's okay to be white. Those two statements don't match up. If they deplore racism, how the hell can they possibly vote against the statement as innocuous as it's okay to be white? It's okay to be white. And the opposite of it's okay to be white is it's not okay to be white. And given the nature of the statement, it's, if you're not saying yes, it's okay to be white, you are saying no, it's not okay to be white. So if they don't support it, there's rubbish about, oh, we support, you know, we don't support any kind of racism, duh, duh, duh. virtue signal, virtue signal, is absolute rubbish. It's a flat out lie. They just have no balls. They don't want to stand up and say, no, we actually don't support the notion that it's okay to be white, but they still want to pretend that they're, they are there to support their base. They don't want to lose their base because they know that their base are not going to be on their side if they vote against it. And rightly so, because voting against it is racism. And here we get to the cusp of a major issue with uh, politics in Australia, actually politics in the Western world in general. So yesterday, as a result of an administrative process failure, the government senators in the chamber ended up on advice, voting in support of the motion. As leader of the government in the Senate, I take responsibility for that error. And I'm sorry that that happened. It is indeed regrettable. So it was an administrative error and on advice, they all voted in favor of it. What that really means is not one of these people in the Senate actually thinks about what they're voting on. They don't actually think about it. All they do is vote in the way that they are told. Now, at the recent event, the Facebook uh, free speech rally in Melbourne, where Senator Fraser Anning spoke, one of the things he spoke about was the fact that these politicians are essentially do-nothing, good-for-nothing idiots. They don't actually do any work. They stand around and they just get told how to vote and then they go off and they get their massive salary as a result. And this actually is an admission that that is exactly how they operate. Our politicians are utterly pathetic. Absolutely, utterly pathetic. That is, the Liberal politicians are pathetic, and the ALP and the Greens are not just pathetic, but flat-out racists. They are proper, proper racists. Calling it's okay to be white a white supremacist meme is pure racism. I've already said that, but we have to actually hammer that point home. Of course, now that it's become a scandal, the Prime Minister has to say something. So the Prime Minister's come out and said, I'm sure all Australians stand against racism in whatever form it takes, but the leader of the government in the Senate will be making a statement about that later today. Mr Morrison said, I found it regrettable, but the leader of the government in the Senate will be making a statement on that shortly. So 
they have to make a statement on the fact that they voted in favour of a motion that acknowledges that it's okay to be white. Yes, that's right. That's what they have to make a statement on. They have to come back and make a statement on saying it's okay to be white. Seriously, we are living in an upside down universe. What the hell? I nearly forgot, how could we leave out old Tim Suitman the moron? White nationalism in the Australian Parliament. At least 28 senators think it's okay to endorse neo-Nazi slogans. So, if you say it's okay to be white, that means you're a neo-Nazi. Yes, yeah, seriously, he actually said that. This guy used to be the head of the Australian Human Rights Commission bringing cases against people for race hate. While here he is, committing what is obviously race hate. How abhorrent that the government senators voted in support of this. Yeah, how could they vote that it's okay to be white? Yet another sign of hate being normalised. Do you mean hate like voting against the statement it's okay to be white? That kind of hate? The kind of hate that is actually hatred based on race? That... You support Tim? Hmm. Who knows? And of course, Pauline Hanson has to get the last word. I would also hope the Senate does the right thing and acknowledges it is indeed okay to be white. Such a simple sentence should go without saying, but I suspect many members of this parliament would struggle to say it. And she's right, and pretty much every leftist would struggle to say it, especially people in the media. Just ask them. See what happens. People have a right to be proud of their culture, uh, whether they are black, white, or brindle. If we cannot agree on this, I think it's safe to say white racism is well and truly rife in society. And that's exactly right. That's the whole point of the it's okay to be white meme. It's an innocuous statement that gets a reaction out of the left and thus proves that they are racist. The ALP, the Greens, and now even the Liberals have just proven without a doubt that they are racists and that they have an official policy of racism, whether they say that they're anti-racist or not. If you can't say it's okay to be white, then you are a racist. End of discussion. The fact that we even have this discussion is proof that anti-white racism is on the rise. Because if it wasn't on the rise, they'd just vote yes and we'd all move on. Because it's okay to be white. It is okay to be white. And if you don't agree with that statement, then you are a racist. I think it's time to get rid of the major parties. They are a waste of space. They're not representing us. They are clearly, clearly anti-white racists. And we just need to get rid of them. Just flush them down the toilet where they belong, back into the sewer with the rest of the politicians. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And if you like this video, if you share it around, that helps me a hell of a lot because YouTube's unlikely to do it for me. I'll see you when I see ya.